I think it's either pronounced Rog or Rog. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with Rog. I think Rog sounds better. But we know, we all know I, I'm known for um, butchering like, things, names and stuff. So I probably got it wrong anyway. Um, I've got Steam PC Master Race. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, John. Um, so what Rog allows you to do is create a library of all of the games you've got or that you've played on different platforms and, and keep it in one nice tidy place. So if you want to think, oh God, I can't remember what games I've got, which I am constantly doing. I've probably got over a hundred games just on my PC. <clears throat> so that doesn't even include what I haven't installed from my Steam, my Origin, my Ubisoft, um, my EA games files, etc. That doesn't include what I've got in my console libraries. So what I've got on physical disc and then what I've got um, like on the cloud or um, in like Xbox gold like library whatever right so I'm constantly thinking to myself I've got so many games I can't think what to play so this gives you a library that you can browse you can personalize it add all of your games and then you go through it and you think oh right okay I've got that game I've got this game and it doesn't matter what platform it is you can make collections and things as well so like John was saying earlier that Detroit to become human is his game of the year title so far so you could make like um i don't know a games collection so detroit is now my, my game of the year title so far so i'm going to make a collection full of game of the year titles that i've chosen um or like you know you could have themes where like you know they're racing games they're fighting games whatever takes your fancy basically um, and I think it's a really good concept it is fairly new it is still in beta from what I got told but it is free to use which is always good what's a console <laughs> lol um, so I, I think I'm going to have a look at it and then sort of add all my different games to it and, and see what happens so if we go to the home page so now I've already signed into it right so now these are all the ones that it's added because I've added I'm pretty sure I've added my Xbox I've connected my Xbox my PSN obviously my computer etc so it, it goes back to all like you know when I first had I that was like one of the first games I played was Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. Oh, God. Oh, nighty. Not good, not good. Um, and it's, I've got absolutely loads. But I need to update it because it's not showing my stats. So I need to find out how to do that because obviously they're all shown as zero. But there's loads of them on there that I have completed. Like, um... Oblivion, I don't think, is showing there unless it came later. Excuse me. So these are all, and you can sort it by different sort of um, filters. So, like right now, it's going by um, date added and stuff. So, time to tidy up. I've got 291 games in the profile. Smackdown vs Raw, awesome game, awesome game. Um, it's just, it's hard to think that, like, you know, God, I played all these different games, and I can't remember playing half of them, but I did. But you're talking, like, ten years' worth of games that I've played. But for some reason, Oblivion's not on there. Let me see if I can find Oblivion. Is there a search function? Let's see if there's a search function. Search my library. So, Oblivion. Ooh, what's this? Um, so, what does it say? So, it is in my games. So, I can switch it to completed. 
because I know I completed it. I got all of the achievements on Xbox 360, including the, the DLC for Shivering Isles. Uh, it's the only game on Xbox that I've actually 100%ed with every single achievement. So I know I've completed that. So if we go back, um, have I added anything to my wish list? Oh, there we go. So on my wish list is Marvel Spider-Man, the new one, and Life is Strange 2. What about the second DLC? The, um, what was it called? Not Dragon, not Dragonborn. Um, Dawn something or something Dawn. There was, um, they were like mini DLCs. There was like three of them or something, I think. The first DLC, you had the um, the Knights of something. They were like mini DC uh, DLCs. I can't think of what they were called now, but they were like mini storylines. And you got a load of sort of in-game goodies from them as well when you completed them. Um, but the first proper DLC, Knights of the Nine, that's it. Yeah, it's called Knights of the Nine. And then, um, but it was a sort of, it wasn't a proper DLC, it was like a, a mini sort of story quest chain. But then you had the, the proper DLC that got released, which was Shivering Isles. And when it first came out, yeah, you could only get it by downloading it off the Microsoft Store. You had to buy it was with, with um, your Microsoft points, how they used to be. So you downloaded that off the Microsoft Store, because obviously back then you could only get Oblivion. Uh, Elder Scrolls was only like it was exclusive to Microsoft so you could only get Oblivion on Xbox 360 whereas like Morrowind and stuff was on Xbox and PC um, and obviously the older ones again they were just on what PC I think um, so before it became cross-platform where they released it well not cross cross-platform available on multi-platform it was exclusive to 360 and you had to download it uh, from the Microsoft Point Store before they brought out the Game of the Year edition where it, it included all of it, etc. Yes, that's that, yeah, that's it, the extra houses. It was like Dawn something. Um But yeah, so that that was the only game I've actually completed every single achievement for was Oblivion, Elder Scrolls Oblivion on Xbox 360. Um so yeah, so I've got my wish list. Now, I've only added two games to my wish list because I was doing it quickly. Um, but obviously, I know that there's loads of games that I want that are coming up. Like Assassin's Creed, I want. So let's see if Assassin's Creed's in there. Is it apostrophe S? Assassin's Creed. Oh. It's Odyssey, isn't it? I even spelt that right. I never know. I never remember with uh, Odyssey. Is that spelt right? Oh, is that coming up? Is it because of that? Or is it? Oh no, it's physically searching my my library. Of course, I don't have it yet. So let's go to this one. Uh, Yeah, exactly. I was searching within my wish list. <laughs> so we've got... Wow, who knew there were so many Assassin's Creed games? Have I gone past it? Or is it not on here? Unity, Black Flag, Revelations. Hmm. Maybe it's because it hasn't come out yet. It should be. It's due out in like six days. Oh my god, my biggest cat just jumped on my belly. Oh my ouch. Alright, these origins. Which was the last one, wasn't it? 
Okay, so if they got any of the games, what what else is due out soon? So we got Fallout seventy six. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't have. What's the release calendar? Ooh, now you're talking. So we'll go to Xbox One. Oh, there we go. I was literally about to say, it looks like it doesn't have it. Christmas soon. Yeah, don't remind me. Don't remind me. So I'm going to add that. So I get the choice then to add it to my games list, which obviously I, I don't have it yet, so I'm not going to. But I'm going to add it to my wish list. And Oh, I even get to choose what platform. So I'm going to get an Xbox One. Detroit Become Human, I can add that. Edit. Yet to play. I haven't played it yet. Call of Duty, yeah, I want that. I'm getting that. I'm getting it on Xbox One, because I'm getting the Collector's Edition. Um, what else was there? Do you say you can't believe any Assassin's Creed games, right? Yeah. It was like 12 or 13. It was loads, different platforms yeah. and everything. It's a lot. Do you mm. think of the mainstream ones? You're like, oh, it's only like five. It's like, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when is 4 or Red Redemption 2? That looks really good. Red Dead Redemption 2? Yep. Next year? No, it's coming out in October. It's, it's coming out October the 26th. November, we've got Fallout 76. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, it is. I thought we got pushed back to next year. So I want to add that to my wish list because I want to play that. I'm going to probably play that on PC. <coughs> Darksiders 3. Now that's got to be added to my wish list on Xbox One. So you get the idea, guys. So if I look at my wish list, there we go. There's all the games I've added so far. And then when they get released, I can then obviously go and buy them and add them to my other library. Far Cry 5, isn't that out already? Yes, it is. Was it a DLC or something? I did notice. Oh, no, this is this is a list for best of 2018 on the side. So that's why Detroit was in there. Monster Hunter World. God of War, of course, is number one. I still haven't played that because Nathan bought it and then traded it in before I had chance. Um, but yeah, there's also a community where you can share your collections and share your libraries, etc. Um, you can also <laughs> write reviews like this uh, lovely person has done about Assassin's Creed Revelations. Sorry, but this game sucks. Personally, haven't played Revelations, so I wouldn't know. Um, but you can like share your opinions and reviews on different games. You can share your community, not your community, sorry, your collections. Um, what else we got? Oh, look, you can post videos of reviews and things that you've done. That's pretty good. I think when I got more time, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to sort my library out. Because um, obviously I don't want things that I don't own anymore in my library. Excuse me. This has literally just taken all the data from my profiles and gone, oh, she's played this, she's played this. But obviously these games, Doom I still have. Um... I don't know why that's there though, if it's by date added. Because that came out in 2016, these were all like 2007. But I don't have any of them anymore. And the, most of these, like Worms, Paperboy, Castlevania, Frogger, etc., they were Xbox Live free games that I sort of played around on. Oh, there you go, yet to play completed. So now that I'm sort of going through it, it's Sort of doing all my data, etc. That's cool. So yeah, so I'm going to go through this when I've got a bit more time to go through my library. Um, I've been there all day. I have 134 games on Steam alone. Yeah, I've got a ton. But apparently in my library, this is just what it's picked up. I've got 290 games. So I 
try to think how many I've got. Platforms. Let's see how many at a PC. 181 are just on my PC. So I've got all these games. And I haven't even played half of them. So this is another way that you can store all your games. Right, I completed that. My get oh no, I've got 920 my games. Wow. Okay. PlayStation. No, what console did I? It was PC. I'm sure, it was PC. Um. Yeah, I need to go through all these because it's a really good way of seeing what you've got, what you need to play, what you want to play, what you've forgotten about. And it's free, guys. It is, like, you know, I am constantly sort of rifling through my PC um, to find a game to play. So I think this is a really good solution for me personally. You know, popular collections. You can see what other people are playing. Um, you can leave reviews or read reviews. If you're looking for a good game to play. Oh, they've even got a live stream for Twitch integration. That is really good. Yeah, I need to go through this in more detail. But uh, I'm glad my friend passed this on to me now. Right. So, have we now decided what we're going to play? I'll be the one to take you in at night And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me 